No, that's that's a good question. Now, all the prophets and messengers came with one religion. That's called the religion of Islam. And what did they come with? They all came with one belief, one creed. They all came to the call to the oneness of Allah, to the monotheism of Islam, to the belief in one Lord, to believe in the angels' day of judgment, to good and bad. So these, all the prophets and messengers came with one religion. But where they differ is they differ in the Sharia. What's a Sharia? It means the legislation, the law. Okay, so all prophets and messengers came with one religion, one belief, one principle in the belief and creed. But they had differences when it came to such, for example, such uh, on the way that we, on the performance of the prayers, on when do we pray, on the on fasting. For example, some had Hajj, some didn't have Hajj. Some had things were halal in their nation, it's haram in our Sharia, halal in our Sharia, haram in their Sharia. So, for example, our Sharia. Our legislation, the legislation of Muhammad وسلم, says that we must pray five times a day. And the performance of the prayer and the actual structure of the prayer is different to the previous Sharia. So the previous Sharia used to pray, but it doesn't mean they used to pray the way we pray and the times that we pray. So that's where there's differences. They, they, all, they all agree when it comes to the creed and belief, but they had the different Sharia. So for example, uh, the famous story of Adam alayhi salam, his wife Hawa, she used to fall pregnant with twins, one male, one female. And then uh, the, the, the same brothers and sisters from different stomach used to get married. So a male from the first pregnancy will get married to a female from the second pregnancy. And a female from the first pregnancy will get married to a male from the second or third pregnancy. Now that's very famous and that's permissible at the time of Adam. Can we do that these days in our Sharia? Is that permissible in Sharia of Muhammad? Of course it's not. So when it came to certain things such as halal and haram, when it came to certain worships, okay, the prophets and messengers differ between one another. But when it came to the belief, when it came to the actual religion, they're all one. So uh, to say that uh, someone might think, okay, we pray this way, uh, how did Isa used to pray? It doesn't mean Isa used to pray like the way we pray or Ibrahim, or the previous prophets and messengers, or the Muslims before us, they probably had a different way of prayer, and different times of prayer, and different conditions of prayer. And I'll give you another example. In our Sharia, in our Sharia, that if najasa, if filth comes on our clothes, we could only wash it, and then we'll move on. But in Sharia, Musa if najasa goes in their clothes, they had to rip it out. So there's differences in Sharia. Sharia means legislations, laws. But at the end of the day, they all agree when it came to their religion.